Johnny, you, you still have your communist hat. Johnny, you used to be me and then you died. I woke up. I, and then I woke up. Cause I wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. oh, hi there. I'm Brendan Peterson, the founder of Dark Slide Pictures and the director of Paper Wasps. Welcome to this week's episode of Appalling Productions Mondays. This episode is entitled, Seven Weird Fiction Authors You Should Know. So what exactly is weird fiction? Well, let's look at Wikipedia and get the exact definition. Weird fiction is a subgenre of speculative fiction originating in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It can be said to encompass the ghost story and other tales of the macabre. Weird fiction is distinguished from horror and fantasy in its blending of supernatural, mythical, and even scientific tropes. British authors who have embraced this style have often published works in mainstream literary magazines, even after American pulp magazines became popular. Oh, hey, Hanky. It's my cat. Popular weird fiction writers included Edgar Allan Poe, William Hope Hodgson, H.P. Lovecraft, Lord Dunsany, Arthur Mackin, M.R. James, and Clark Ashton Smith. Those are all the most commonly known weird fiction authors that you probably have heard of at least one of them. But this one, this video in particular, is about authors that you may not have heard of that are working in the weird fiction genre today. And once again, the weird fiction genre is kind of hard to define exactly, and it's a bit of a blanket term, but these guys for sure are working within the weird fiction genre. And I say these guys while holding up this book. Well, what this book is here is The Madness of Dr. Caligari, which is an anthology of short stories that all kind of tie into the world of The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari which is a classic movie from, from 1920, which you may have heard of. And, <clears throat> yeah, so let's just dive in a little more and jump into the video, and then I'll explain why this is relevant. Laird Barron is an American author and poet whose work usually falls within the horror, noir, and dark fantasy genres. His collections The Amigo Sequence and Other Stories and Occultation and Other Stories won him a Shirley Jackson Award in 2007 and 2010, respectively. Recently, one of his stories was adapted into a successful feature film called They Remain, and his most recent novel entitled Blood Standard sees him making his crime fiction debut. Gemma Files is a Canadian horror writer, journalist, and film critic. Her most recent novel, entitled Experimental Film, received the Shirley Jackson Award in 2015 and has received high critical praise for its unique and modern storytelling. Several of her short stories have been adapted for the television series The Hunger. Check her stuff out. S. P. Miskowski is a three-time Shirley Jackson Award nominee. She has been deemed one of the most exciting new voices within the weird fiction genre. Her most recent novel, entitled I Wish I Was Like You, was a 2017 Bram Stoker Award nominee for superior achievement in a novel. Highly recommended. Michael Griffin is another new exciting voice in the world of weird fiction. His stories have been included in award-winning collections such as The Grim Scribe's Puppets and The Children of Old Leech. His debut collection is entitled The Lure of Devouring Light. He is also an electronic musician and founder of Hypnos Records, which is an ambient music label he operates with his wife Lena in Portland, Oregon. Jayaprakash Satyamurthy 
I, I'm not sure if I pronounced that name right, so sorry to him if I if I butchered it completely, is a weird fiction author based out of Bangalore, India. He writes ghost stories and poems, and his collection Weird Tales of a Bangalorean has been highly regarded within the genre. He also plays in a doom metal band called Jin and Miskatonic, which draws largely within the weird fiction when it comes to subject matter. Thomas Ligotti is an American horror author and a reclusive literary cult figure. His works have been highly regarded within the weird fiction genre and considered to be highly influential. In 2014, the TV series True Detective and its creator have cited Ligotti's work as a main source of influence when creating the show. Joseph S. Pulver Sr. is an author and poet whose work often falls into the horror fiction, noir fiction, and hard-boiled genres. He currently lives in Germany. Let's go back to the anthology that I introduced in the beginning of this video, entitled The Madness of Dr. Caligari which was edited by Joe. Short stories are quite popular within the weird fiction genre, and as such, anthologies, which are based around certain themes, are also very popular, where a group of authors all join together to create a collection of stories that all tie into a central theme or world. In this case, they are all based around the film The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. These anthologies are also a great way to find out about new authors in the genre, because they often feature a whole bunch of them. Yes, your name is Damon, not Cole. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for watching this week's episode. And once again, this isn't your typical uh, top seven, top ten kind of clickbait list. This is more of just information awareness about the weird fiction genre and me spreading the some things that i love about it through some some authors and stories that i love in the genre and if you're into weird fiction at all maybe this will help you delve head first into the genre yourself and get into reading these weird stories and maybe the definition that you have of weird will start to change because one common thing that I've noticed in weird fiction is that people who are in it kind of use the word weird a little bit differently than some other people sometimes do. Oftentimes people use the word weird to describe something that's creepy or off-putting that they that is kind of negative in a way. It's like that guy there is weird something is off about him i wouldn't trust him but people within the weird fiction genre have kind of embraced the term weird and kind of in delved headfirst into the bizarre nature of how things collide and the chaos of existence and so forth and this probably sounds a little weird what i'm saying to some people but that's exactly the point is that we embrace weird because we love weird in a way because we know that sometimes things that are beautiful are weird too and that's kind of maybe one way of putting it and a perspective that i often have when i'm looking into these worlds that weird fiction authors and artists are creating so once again thanks for watching and tune in next time and there'll be some other weird stuff going on here, I promise. Subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification if you uh, like the video.